See, clearly, uh, some of this consolidation helps in terms of uh, uh, reaching a valuation level, uh, which is probably uh, uh, more comfortable uh, for investors, uh, especially uh, on the large cap side. Uh, however, the mid and small caps still continue to trade at a multiple, which is much higher than large caps. And also compared to their own historical valuations, uh, we are at a fairly higher level. So to that extent, uh, also, uh, we must remember that earnings expectations in the mid and small cap basket is also much higher, almost 10 to 12 percentage points higher than that of Nifty or the large caps. So to that extent, uh, the room for disappointment uh, is much higher in case of mid and small caps. We continue to remain positive on all three buckets from a medium to long term perspective. However, in the very short term, we are unlikely to see that kind of a volatility, even if some negative event were to pan out in case of large caps. However, same cannot be said about the mid and small cap basket. Uh, the volatility could be higher in case of uh, a market correction or in case earnings don't pan out the way the markets are expect expecting. So that's the risk that uh, uh, any investor would probably face if he's uh, putting lump sum investments into mid and small caps at these valuations.